going on everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the YMS-15 Gion Principality of Xeon Prototype Close Combat Suit. Now this is the revived version. You can tell that this is a very unique design mobile suit. His head is diamond shaped, it's like a, a spending top almost because of the pointy edge, but it still keeps true to the other Xeon designs as it does have a mono eye. It does have a shield and it does house uh, missiles and bombs and he has a beam saber that resembles something of a fencing weapon. Overall it looks like a medieval knight and it looks like he also has a jetpack. Looking at the side of the box we can see the complete front view of the suit, the shield, and it does come with a very long beam saber, and rounded shoulders as well. And this is the back of the suit, it does have a jetpack. And it looks like one of those bell-bottom uh, pants that you see in the 70s. Here's his action pose. You can see that his wrist can cant, so he'd be able to go in some sort of poking, stabbing motion. That is a massive shield. Here's some more battle poses. Here's the head. I'm very interested to see if the mono eye is a sticker. Most likely it is because it is a high grade. But I'll be pleasantly surprised if it is just this piece like a Zaku sniper. Here's some more battle poses. Here are the gimmicks. Uh, you can see that the back of the shield, he hangs onto it with his hand, and it goes back onto his forehand. Looks like he is he can bend over quite far. Looks like he also has thrusters at the end of the uh, at the end of his backpack. And it looks like he could go on his toes as well. And because this is a close quarter mobile suit. It does only only have uh, a beam saber and a shield, so no long range weapons. I believe this suit was supposed to complement the MS Dom, as the Doms are long range suits, and they were made by the same company in the Gundam universe. Here is pretty much the front part of the box art, and here he is fighting the RX. That's it. Now let's see what this box has in store. Put that there. We have the first bag and it only has the PC caps B2 and C1 so it looks like an internal frame and then of course the blue is his um, will be his armor pieces. Most likely his skirt and a couple of his feet pieces and the chest and back. Here is, here is the second bag and it looks like it's a shield for his shield, primarily his shield. And looking at the stickers, his eye is going to be stickers. But the shield, the circular part of the shield, the red, is quite detailed. Uh, I believe these are supposed to be individual missiles. And here is the last bag. We can see how big his beam saber is. Very nice. And of course we have the internal pieces, the gray pieces, which we most likely will not see once we assemble the kit. Uh, here are the light blue pieces, here are the leg pieces, here are the pieces for his arm, here's pieces for the shoulder, uh, and here are his hands and external external limbs. Oh, and chest and waist. Nice. So really just two bags and a small, very small third bag. Here is the pamphlet. Oh, just looking at it, it doesn't give you a lot of options for panel lining. But it does have like little edges along his legs. Looking inside the sheet, we have his, I guess you could call this the attention, the attention pose, his stabbing, and some other cool um, battle poses as well. Here are all the uh, runners. You have A, B1, B2, C1, C2, D, D, D1, D2, and the PC. So really, three runners if you combine all the small ones together. Looking at the instructions very quickly, it looks like his head is basically three pieces. Comes in the top and then two on the sides, and obviously had the spike, but we really won't count those. Uh, looking at it, yes, his eye is a sticker. Uh, looking at his other limbs, doesn't look like it's going to be much of an issue. Very simple steps. And the last part of the instructions, you'll build his weapons. 
That is a pretty cool beam saver, very unique, just like a fencing weapon. Excellent. And looking at the last page, again, pretty much what we saw on the side of the box. His wrist can can't, so he's able to stab. Looking at his back, his jetpack, it's very elementary. He could be on his toes. Looks like he has great flexibility in his elbow and shoulders. Again, this is the only two weapon systems. I mean, technically you could count the shield as a long range weapon since it does house missiles and bombs, but uh, I think the money maker is in the beam saber. Here is the color guide for those who are interested. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, that's it for this unboxing video. It's very short. This kit is very small. This is the revived version, so I expect it to be a little better than the original. Uh, never seen the original, um, the kit, so I really can't compare it. But judging by the internet photos and the YouTube videos, it looks pretty sick. It looks very good and no issues so far. That's all I have, guys. I'm going to get started on this. Hopefully, I can finish this guy, uh, I'd say, by Friday or Saturday. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. Peace out, and look out for the time-lapse video.